another episode of Inside DFW. We're here at Sambuca Restaurant, and I am speaking with Lumbi Malambo. She's the editor-in-chief of Equanimity Magazine. Lumbi, tell us a little bit more about tonight's event. Tonight's event is very special. This is the first time Jennifer Styles gets to autograph the magazines. We have 200 magazines for her to autograph in just two hours. So that means she's going to be busy, and as soon as people buy and start lining up here, it's going to be so exciting just to see it happening. And Brands & Noble is here as well, so they're supporting this event. We're donating to two charities. Uh, Project Transformation is one of them, and Paws in the City. Paws in the City is we rescue all the dogs and the cats from Dallas Animal Services before they're euthanized. It's a 100% volunteer charity, so every dime goes to the animals. There's no, no paid staff. It's basically... People love animals so much, they're willing to use all their free time to save animals' lives. So it's been it's been a great success so far. And the way that Jennifer and I hooked up is she's been a large supporter of Paws in the City for quite a while, and so it was just like a no-brainer. We just got together and did the event. And so I hear that tonight, any magazine that's sold, I believe tonight and tomorrow, will go to Paws in the City. And how do you guys exactly use that money? Well, we use the money um, for spaying and neutering, for vetting our animals, and also for um, if we find an animal that uh, needs to be rehabilitated, that's unfortunately been hit by a car or anything, we use the money for that. So it just any sort of medical needs, that's what the money will go to. Project Transformation is an organization that serves low-income children and youth throughout the Dallas area, and we provide after-school and summer programming for over 900 students. And what makes us unique is we hire college students who then provide the programs for these children and youth. And it's a great dual program for children to have mentoring relationships, to be able to build an opportunity to see their potential with going to college, finishing school. And for our college students, it's an opportunity for them to really have hands-on experience in a number of different fields, from social service to education and sometimes even a ministry vocation. So we're excited about being here tonight. We partnered with Equanimity through Barnes & Noble as we have a literacy program that reaches our 900 children and youth. And so we read every day with these kids, giving them an opportunity to increase their um, ability to read and their confidence in reading. So they liked our mission and we're excited to be a part of it tonight. I am a writer. I've written my first article and it's going to be coming up hopefully in the August issue and I'm also going to be featured in the August issue. I um, am a photographer, journalist, travel to Africa, have an incredible um, photography line called I Speak Photo Stories and it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous uh, thing that, the, that God has given to me. So it's almost kind of a, a two for one, you know. It's, it's, it's an opportunity for me to do what I love and that is right to, to to have an opportunity to talk with individuals about who they are, where they see themselves going, what they enjoy in life. Um, so it's just, a, like I said, it's just an opportunity for me to, to allow other people to learn about other people in a real creative way. I love to write creatively, um, and I'm excited about the opportunity. Well, Sambuca is honored to be the host for Equanimity Magazine today, and we have just had the privilege of being involved, especially with Paws in the City, which is the charity that Jennifer Styers is, you know, helping to provide donations for today. And our co-owner Holly Forsyth is very, very involved with it. She actually just received the uh, St. Francis of Assisi Award at their recent charity event. So. We love, you know, doing anything we can, but, you know, like I said, most importantly, we just want to be involved in the community and are happy to have everyone here today. The reason I was chosen for the cover was because my nickname is The Love Coach, and so I'm actually a personal development coach, but what I talk about all the time is love. I don't mean to, it's just who I am, uh, and I filter everything kind of through that place and teach people, I really believe that the, the thing that stops people from reaching their potential, that stops them sometimes from experiencing true happiness, from falling in love, from staying in love, from, from keeping functional relationships, is a lot of people don't know how to love themselves. They don't love themselves because they don't know who they are. And that comes from our belief system. So that's the kind of coaching that I do is, is kind of, if we look at ourselves, like you're an operating, you have an operating system that you grew up with based on your belief system. So I help people rewrite that, but from a place of love. So when they go out into the world, um, they, they now have a new understanding of themselves, who they are, what they want, what they're looking for, what they need to make them happy, and then their life changes. 